Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Angry Cast. This is a solo effort with the help of alcohol. <sighs> what is tonight? Pumpkin Ale. Blockhouse Brewery Pumpkin Ale, Latrobe, Pennsylvania, near my hometown. <sighs> it's that time of year. Time for the pumpkins. And what better way to celebrate pumpkin ale than with a horror game uh, that you've seen me play before, especially with Bailey. So here's the dealio. You know, Bailey and I have been playing this game. Uh, we've been playing it for months. Uh, we stopped playing probably uh, early early April, May, and we had episodes out through to October. Uh, and we just started picking up uh, again to play the new version, 1.15, you can see in the corner of the screen there, that just came out, uh, well, this this who knows when this video is coming out, but it came out in like July, August time frame. But what I decided to do was do a solo effort in a random gen world with the new update because new stuff is out there. And I really wanted to get into playing this. I really wanted to do, I asked a question before, should I do a solo play a long time ago? And nobody responded, which is, well, that's just typical for the channel. But I thought, why not? Let's let's try it anyways. And, and let's try, well, you know, well, it, it's going to be a hybrid effort. We're going to, we'll talk about it halfway through the video. Play, play, I'm going to play about a two-hour cycle, but we're only going to maybe have about an hour's worth of video. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, what's the guy going to call this thing? I'm going to call this thing. There we go. Drunken Disorderly. That's the name of our world. There we go. I've decided. Why not? So, yeah. we. I'm going to let this play through just so we can talk. Uh, the structure of this we're going to play is the first half is going to be me playing the game, uh, giving you tips that I have learned that have helped me play, and hopefully we won't die too much. Um, it is a lot harder than it was before for some reason. I haven't changed anything, but starting over is always hard in this game. Um, I got lucky. And Bailey and I restarted. We got a, you know we restarted the, in, in a new map and, and got really lucky. We died a few times, but we got really lucky finding a place. But then the first half is going to be the you know playing the game and some tips, and the second half is going to be uh, topics of discussion that I have wrote down beforehand. And you can always suggest something in the comments, and we'll discuss it in the last half of the video. So we're getting ready to get in there. Oh, shnikes. Gonna take Get a last sip of beer before we get in there, because <clears throat> it's gonna the world has ended, and we are starting over. Naked and afraid. Maybe. Oh my god! Seriously! <laughs> there we are. Oh, and I love the area we've... we've. Oh, I love this. We're going to just stay right here. We are going to stay right here. Dear friend, the wasteland can be under here in place, and you look around, you can look some help. Close the short guide to take a... Okay, so we, we you know, we got to do our... Yeah, 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 yeah. We got to do the basics. Got to do the basics in order to... Uh, you know, to, to get stuff. So we got to go punch some stuff, and there we go. And I don't know if they just don't drop you immediately into the the, the world of the zombie. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's so used to playing Skyrim with the, the you know, the crosshair being completely uh, a, a, a line across, not just a little bit. That means something's hunting you. Or we can see you, and here we are. Undetected is just a slit. Uh, so we, we got to gather some wood. So, if you've never played the game before, it's, I guess you could say it's still in alpha. I don't know why you could consider it still being, I mean, I guess it is still in alpha. Uh, it's on PC. PC I don't have, I don't have the ability to play it. Uh, I have, we have, this is PS4. And it, it's pretty, f I mean, it, it really is fun. Although, once you get to a certain point, it sort of becomes pointless, I should say. Uh, in that, uh. I gotta find some stones. Gather some small stones. We have to make some tools. So yeah, you just walk around. It's just you know, hey Minecraft, remember Minecraft? Yeah, you remember Minecraft. You you loved Minecraft for years. For years you loved playing Minecraft. That's all you played was Minecraft. Uh, so you bat you gather up all your items here. You just just follow the uh, the, uh, the the tutorial. The craft a stone axe. That's our first thing we're gonna do. We gotta craft a stone axe. But you know, there's also things on the ground to look at and look through. Uh, could be some good stuff in it. I don't know where it went to. It was there was a garbage bag. Somebody put their trash out for me to look through, like a little raccoon. I'm like a little raccoon in the woods, shoveling in my trash panda. There we go. No, that's not it. I don't know where the hell it went. Oh well. In any case, let's go. You know, uh, go into your crafting menu. You can either get, you can either hold down. Uh, I guess it's square on this one, and you can rotate to the items, or you can just go right into your crafting screen. 
And then you have the menu. I will say that the crafting menu is a little bit craziness, but you can type in. Uh, it's not really good when you're you know running from zombies. You have to sit. Hold on a second while I type in a recipe uh, name. But uh, you don't have to actually physically put things into a crafting area. It does it for you. So craft a small stone axe or craft a stone axe, and that gives you your first uh, item uh, and your first set of uh, you know your first quest completion. Uh, and then you have to go on the new things like oh we got to build clothes because you know what we're naked. We are nakedness in the woods. For some reason, I don't know how that works. Like we. We, uh, we we woke up in the apocalypse and we have no clothes. What what where were we at? How much how much beard did I have? And now here we are. Uh, so we want to get all of these items and you know get all that done and then craft all the thing. In here you have you know shirt. Oh that's that must be the clothing menu. So we need to do uh, fiber pants, fiber shirt, hood, shoes and gloves. We're gonna be like Woody Harrelson, all big into the hemp stuff. So click into it, craft it. Click into that, craft it, click into that, craft it, click into that, craft it, click into that, craft it. Are we, are we, we can't make anything else right now. Okay, we're going to make uh, shoes. All right, we, that's all we can make for now. And then, our, you know, we you, you want to wait until they tell you what to do because then you have to uh, redo stuff. So while that's doing its thing... I'm going to go over here and beat on this rock for a little bit with my my newly made stone axe, a level one stone axe. And as you make the same thing over and over again, it, you get better at it. Your skills go up and you get better uh, rated items. Um, I would not say that you would want to go attack a huge uh, mountainside with a stone axe at this point because you're not going to get crap out of it. It's going to take forever. But I am getting some stones and I am getting some iron ore. That's a new thing in the, the latest update. But uh, yeah. And there's also little flowers out here. This gold, you know, cotton and goldenrod, and these snowberries, which I don't know what snowberries do. They're they're not good for you. They're not. They're not. It's not a good thing to, to eat. Uh, and some uh, goldenrod. They'll be coming useful later. Pick up whatever you can. Oh, there's, oh, look at what! I love it. I love it. There's already a damn house right here, but that means there's going to be zombies around. So let's put on our items now. If you go into your person, the little you know, uh, Steve Zizu here, the the Life Aquatic. You can uh, just right thumbstick on the items, and it'll wear. It. And these things will provide you, which uh, these these items will provide you with um, protection based on what they are. As you can see here, this headgear. Uh, let's see here. You can see it's a durability 72. Concussive, uh, you know, being hit by stuff is seven. Puncture being so. We have a little. It's like armor rating kind of. Uh, the, the big thing here to w worry about is insulation and waterproofness. Insulation and fire and, and that, that stuff, because you can be exposed to the elements in the game, and it can't hurt you. So now what are we going to do? we got to gather up wood and make a wooden club. We can make a wooden club fairly easily right now. We have all of the items. Um, underneath the, the, the basics, there's the hammer there. All the things, you know, your first things that you will ever make. Wooden club is on the board. There's go. Make one. Have it together. I'm going to make another wooden uh, stone axe and another... Uh, get some more wood and build another one because you don't want to be left fighting zombies and not have uh, a backup weapon. So it's it's kind of good to have. All right, let's check out over the hill here. This little house. It's probably not much of a house, but it probably still has some zombies around it. Oh, that's one of them houses, huh? Oh, and there's a there is a sheer drop right here. This would be kind of good actually to have because this this back up to the wall. I could use as um as a protection and there's a ro look at that like look at this road here man this is a, this is this is a big huge road this i am i am totally uh on my own here no idea what's going on because w random gen we haven't played random gen uh the first days you know the first game we played was random gen then i do i do a whole lab thing on my own just to learn how to play the game in uh the navis game which is the out of the box uh mat generated mat you know standard map which i've pretty much found everything on so there's really nothing uh in it you know left to to find so and and i actually glitched out i can't i can't look at my character screen anymore to see anything so there's no sense in playing it anymore so that's why i'm here and we'll get to more of that later and i want to get uh some items to craft a wooden bow and to make arrows because oh look somebody was 
living here and had this place fortified ish with um, some stuff. So we're going to build some arrows and we need to build a bow. Now there is tools and traps here, ammos and weapons. Uh, let's see here. We need to build a bow and arrow. We need to have uh, so probably some. Um, we'll get some more rocks because that will come in handy anyways. But we need to get more wood probably. Let's make sure we're not going to be you know running into trouble here. There, uh, I know in the uh, what is that? There's a pile of trash at the base of a tree, and it's got some some stuff in it. The stuff we won't use yet for a while, but eventually everything becomes useful in a way. Uh, let's see. Okay, we can make we make the bow yet. Where, where's the wooden bow at? Wooden bow. Shit. What are we missing? Uh, we need more fibers. I think we need more fibers. Uh, oh, because I made I made the arrows. Whoops. That's water. We don't want to use the water up yet. All right. So now we can probably make the wooden bow. Yep. There it is. We just ran out of stuff because we made the arrows first. So now we've got that. So once you complete all eight of these journal entries or these uh, these immediate survival quests, you will get skill points that you can use on certain things. And we'll get into that more as we actually get the skill points to use. But for now, we want... You can hear a refrigerator running somewhere in the distance in this house. Pay attention to the sounds you hear. They may be able to... They may save your life. Now we need to make uh, we need to make stuff for uh, let's see we here start a base that's now this I do have let me let me let me pause and, and and reset the clip here for this part Jesus what are you doing Jackass come on fingers so um, I I think this is a, as a point of contention. It gives you the quest to start a base, meaning craft the wood frame, craft, place the wood frame, upgrade the wood frame. And some people just do it to get the quest out of the way. I tend to look for shelter first because it would come in handy because I can use this these items to not only... There is a there is a deer over there. I wonder if we could take that deer out from here. This would be a good, good use of our... Uh, it would be good to have. You have to okay to in order to use the bow you have to circle on the PS4 and use in, and load up your arrows. Nope, that didn't work at all. I'm gonna sneak up on him. Oh, there's a damn thing in the way. That's probably why I can't hit him. I keep shooting into the trees. We're hunting a wild deer. Wow, we suck. At this. And you don't get your arrows back. Oh my god, seriously? I've got two arrows left. I'm never going to be able to... There we go. Now it's a race. Now now, we're, now it's on. Eventually he will die. Ooh, I want to check this. Because there's stuff in tree stumps. You never know. I hate to let him die out there. And not have not kill him but then here's where I well that's what I was afraid of run right into a zombie going to get him so yeah there are zombies in this game if you've never watched anybody play or never played this game before right in your butt we're gonna just chase him down hope that we don't get seen by the zombie he will eventually run over and die I'd hate to lose him because of that Ugh. We're on the we're on the edge of like two biomes. That's pretty good. All right, shit. He's getting really far away. I didn't think he'd get this far. He will eventually die. And as you run, you will get at, you will gain. You know. There we go. Now, unfortunately, though, oh shit, we've got some company. We've got some company. Where are they at? There's more than one. There's a, there's a crawler. And, oh boy. Huh. Oh man, we got we, we, we have some trouble here. Well, the good news is... You don't want to get... You don't want to... Oh. You don't want to get cornered by these guys. 
You always want to keep aware of your surroundings and make sure there's nothing behind you that's going to get you. Because they can and will work together to hurt you. And always... Whoa, watch your... Shit. Watch your stamina. Now, I'm gonna, oh, I can't believe I haven't gotten hit yet. All right, let's go back around and get... I don't. I can't run anymore. That's what I'm talking about. you got to be careful because once you lose stamina, you are pretty much messed up and they can get you quickly. One zombie by itself is okay. You don't want to have a bunch of them around you. So watch when you go towards buildings and stuff because usually they will spawn right near. I wish I had... Oh, oh. All right, hold on a second. All right, that takes care of that one. All right, uh... Ah! Not everything a zombie has on him is good. Oh, don't want to try to try to circle around and you know keep him keep him from getting a jump on you. See, he got me even though even though he's crawling on the ground. No, nope. now I let I spread my leg. Out, well, that happened. I'm not running anytime soon. Oh, this sucks. Take it on zombies this early in the game. Oh, he hit me behind him. This is not good for me. Not a good look. Damn it, he keeps... I'm hitting him, but he's just not going down. And I have no more arrows to just shoot his ass. I would shoot your ass, pal. He is getting... You piece of crap. There we go. All right, we complete, we're completely undetected. Okay, we have a breather. We can have a breather for the moment. All right. Let's see if we can find something good to help us. Yeah. Ish. All right, let's... See if we can get a bone out of this guy. If we can get a bone right off the bat, we could get a bone shiv. You want to use the proper tool for these items. I'm not going to get a bone until... Yeah, okay. So, eh, my stone axe broke, so i got to switch to the other one. That's why I have a backup. If that had been a zombie, it would have made more of a mess. All right. I'm going to get this bone... And why are you, like, continually getting a, you know, a zombie, hitting a zombie? Why are you continually hitting a zombie if he's already dead, or an animal, once you've already taken most of the meat out of it? Well, there's a reason for that. The reason being is, is that you want to get some of that, uh, some of the bones, and then you can make a bone shiv. When you use a bone shiv, it's, it's better than an axe to take down, like, you know, uh, to take, you know, to... to to harvest, I guess you want to say, uh, harvest items from the uh, the animal that you're uh, you're working on. I'm not. I'm, I want to. I, you know, I need to get back to the house. I need to get good. If you can find nests, nests are always a good thing to find. They have eggs in them, eggs and feathers. Feathers are great for bows and, and you know for arrows and other things. Um, where, where did we leave that house? We we had that house down here somewhere. I don't know where that other zombie went. What is that weird thing off in the distance? It's like pixelated. It looks like pop art. It's probably just a tree, but no, there's, okay, there's that zombie still standing there, so we're right right around here. So here, there's a, there's a, like a whole road thing going on down here. And more, ooh, we got more, uh, I like it. I like finding these tree trunks. It's great. Because if I had been Oh, that's one I already found more. <laughs> um, tree trunks can hold honey. Honey is great if you get infected by a zombie. 
and you don't have uh, antibiotics to heal yourself with. And you get infected by a zombie, you got about a day before you turn, like you die. You Basically, you just die. Basically, you're infected and you're going to turn into a zombie, but the reality is you're just going to die. That's that's how that works. Okay, can I build a splint? We need to build a splint here. Under the uh, medicine, what do you need to build a splint? You need cloth fragments. Now, I might have, uh, you know, if I go in this house, I might find a couch or a bed or something, and I get cloth fragments from that. That'll be good to help me out. Oh, check the mail, see if we got any bills. Hey, even better, I got a schematic for a crossbow. That's awesome. Oh, sweet lord, I'm glad I found that. That's awesome, I can build a, I can build a uh, crossbow. Yes, I can build a crossbow, that's great to have. Alright, this is not going to be, we're going we're gonna to build this place up. We're going to make it better. Alright, uh, it would be so wonderful, I could find a cooking pot in the stove. But I didn't, which sucks. But, found some more water. That's great to have. That'll help out some. Let's close the door so we don't, uh, you know. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do some more of the stuff in the uh, quest menus here in a little bit as I just raid the shit out of this place because we want to find good stuff here. Is there a bed? Oh, there's a couch. That'll work. Couch, you can get cloth fragments from a couch. We don't need it. You can't actually uh, sit in it, so what's the hell's the point? Hey, there's already a thing here, but I can't. I, I'm gonna have to build one myself, so there's no point to it. All right, so splint. We need cloth fragment. Uh, we need two of them. I only I got two leather recipes. I can make not a damn thing with it. All right, how do we make a cloth fragment? I forget. Um, oh, from cotton. That's it. From cotton. How many cotton do I have? I have two cotton. Well, we're gonna build. Ah, uh, we can't. Oh, they changed it now. They changed it. Used to be you could just pl uh, plant cotton right off the bat on dirt. Well, you can't do that anymore. Cotton requires uh, other, you know, fertile dirt or whatever to use. So let's just co collect enough cotton to make a splint. Uh, let's see here. Just grab through everything. Oh, there's even a quest already. All right, let's see if we can build that splint yet. All right, uh, splint we still need. The cloth fragment. Cloth fragment. Uh, where's my cotton at? Let's see how many it takes to how many recipes. See, there's like you know, look at the the thing you can make cloth fragments out of the, out of the thing by clicking on the recipe. We need to make one, and then now we can make a splint. Hopefully, no, we need to make two cloth fragments. Well, son of a. <laughs> All right, not a problem. We'll make it. We'll make the other one. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I just want to. Ah, I just want to craft the damn thing. All right, now we can make the splint for love of Pete. Okay, there we go. Craft the splint, and then we apply the splint. Use, and now our leg is bandaged. So now here's the thing. Okay, while you're in this, and we're standing outside, exposed to everybody. Um, if your character menu, you can see what's wrong with you, too. I got a splitted leg. It's going to be 16 minutes before I can sprint again. So it's going to be a bit, which is not a problem because we're going to hang out here and we can complete the rest of the quest items and get ready. Now, we have a whole two hours of playtime before it gets dark. Actually, let me rephrase that. I have a whole two hours before the next day, which means uh, 2200 is when the uh, the... the the nighttime comes. And the thing about the nighttime you got to worry about is just like any other game, especially like, you know, my, playing Minecraft. We're back to Minecraft again. Remember the Minecraft? Yeah, we love the Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft at nighttime, that's when the monsters came out. Well, in Seven Days to Die, when the nighttime happens, oh, geez, we want to back away slowly and not draw too much attention. There's a bear. We don't want to deal with a bear right now. We want to, what we really want to do is we really need to get back in the house before anybody sees us and continue on these uh, quest logs because that will help out immensely because if we die right now, who knows where we will spawn. Let's get in the house. S just get in there quickly and take care of take care of business. All right. Oh, don't run into the damn thing. I don't want to Oh, I'll run up the tree too while I'm at it. We're going to we're going to have to take care of this stuff. Here. We're going to you know, this place will look a lot different a lot different uh, in a while. So okay, basics I have to build three, uh, I have to build 
three, uh, what's the three wood frames? So we're going to replace this broken down shit. And we're going to build three wood frames. Under the basics, you're going to see wood frame if you have enough wood. It costs you five wood to make one. We need to make three. So only make, I don't want to make 74, for the love of God. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. Let's just make that three and be done with it. All right. So craft those three items. All right. Oop. Place t two of them here. And then go find, there was another hole in the wall. You go find the other hole and fix this up. I don't know that I can. I guess we can fix it up, but eh. Let's, let's, let's redo. We're going to redo this whole thing. We're actually eventually going to have this be, you know, cobblestone. We're going to have co actual cobblestone here, but we can't make that yet. All right, so we can now then, we've, we've placed the wood frames, we've crafted the wood frames, we've now upgraded the wood frames, uh, you know, three of them. And we're going to do that, a lot of this house, uh, probably during the night. That's, you know, when we switch over to the second gear of, of just chit-chatting and doing stuff like that, we will, uh, we will, you know, go into that. Okay, so we want to gather up plant fibers and uh, make a bedroll. Bedroll is, your, is, you know, is like a bed in any other game. It's like a spawn point. It helps, you know, keep you uh, from, you know, being respawned somewhere in the, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, a far away from where you want to be. So we will make that. And you can't really sleep. You can't pass the night. It's not like that's, you know, it's deviating from Minecraft there. You can't uh, get past the night just by sleeping through it. It just serves as a spawn point. And there's a good little tactic uh, with using a bedroll when you go out on your little adventures to... Uh... What the hell is that noise? That means... Okay, it's part of the quest roll. All right, so now we, now we are bound to this place, thankfully. If we die, we will spawn back here, which is great. We have one more quest. We have to build a campfire with some rocks. We got enough rocks to do so. I know there's one already here. I'm going to go take it out because it's more, just more rocks. Why not? Uh, your first eight quests of the day are to, you know, get this stuff done because this will give you your first set of skill points. And we, I, I like to uh, do the skill stuff at nighttime after, you know, at, when you're stuck in your house. Because, like I said, can't get rid of the night. I use it to my advantage and build stuff. Uh, horde nights are a different story. We'll get into that later. We'll get, it, it's going to get, you know, it's going to get wild, folks. Don't worry. It, it's, it's, it's only going to get wilder. So campfire. All right, there we go. Now, one of the things that Bailey and I uh, learned, well, actually, uh, Bailey learned, I already knew. And it always became a problem with her. I am going to place the... <laughs> Camp campfire. She would constantly walk into the fire. Constantly walk into the fire. And... Alright, we've, we've earned a skill point, which means absolutely nothing at this point. We will we will get more skill points eventually. We uh, we will do a lots of stuff to uh, make this place a good home. And, you know, this will be an awesome place for us to start out at. If I find a better place, might go there. Uh, what else we got going on here? What have we found so far? Let's go look at our, we got, you know, we got to go build, we don't have anything else more to, uh, to just build. So we're going to check the rest of the stuff. We can't really get anything out. We can't pick anything up mo right now. I can pick up this. We can build, can we build? Let's go out and just get some more wood. For now, let's just go out, keep getting wood. We're going to need as much wood as we can because we got lots to do with this place. Lots to do. And I always like to, to crouch and hit so I can constantly check on my surroundings and make sure I'm not being detected. But I will gather up all this wood now so that when it comes nighttime, I can just spend my night building weapons, building tools, getting my skills up, using my skill points, fortifying the base, all that stuff. That's the best time thing to do at night because there's no sense in going out. Nothing good happens at night in this game for you unless you are uh, on a quest to... Uh, to kill something for, uh, you know, a, a treasure or, like, a, a, a challenge or whatever. So you might as well just, uh, might as well just not even worry about that right now. Let's build ourselves a little... We can't do it here. We gotta go back inside. Okay, let's get... Let's put some stuff in the fridge. At least that's a place to put it for the moment. All right, let's put uh, our... 
our mushroom spores, the seed, our meat that gets us off us. We're not being detected by zombies anymore. Oh, we got snow bears. Well, we can't use the snow bears for anything. This is garbage. We're not going to use it. We're going to keep, we'll, we'll get rid of that in a little while. Uh, that's all for this. We got l iron leg armor. How about that shit? Wow. Early on in the game, we got iron leg armor. Um, let's build us ourselves a secure wooden chest. Because those are always nice to have. If you're playing on a multiplayer server, it's a good thing to have. So you can lock them. I don't think you can lock cabinets. No, you cannot lock cabinets by holding down a, you know, this thing here. We're just going to put this right here. You can hold down on the triangle button and you can make it lock or unlock. I'm going to unlock it because I'm playing by myself. I'm not going to be playing with anybody else. I'm going to put in this lead, this lead weights. We can scrap all this stuff uh, for more better resources later on. I don't need anything here on me. Paper, don't really need that for now. None of this stuff really does me any good for the moment. Some of these things are useful for uh, other items that we cannot make just yet. But there's no sense to not like see here this by the farm challenge. I think we have to kill. You're not gonna I'm not gonna do this quest yet because I can't use it. But here's what you can do. I guess you're found the nowhere left you. Ah, that's the cat's out of the bag. Let's get down to business. We've been watching you and think you might make a good recruit. But before we can open our doors to stranger, let's see if you can do a simple job. I am slicker than the cat shit on linoleum. Willie. Wow. Kill some animals. Okay. It's a timed event. I'm going to decline it right now. It goes back into your into your, you know, inventory. I'm going to decline it for now until I get better at a bow and I have a better knife cuz then I will want to go actually go out and kill a lot of animals because, you know, you you want to do that. You it gets you gets your food and other stuff. But for now, there's no sense in doing it. Uh, I get my, okay. So, it used to be you couldn't do this, but now you can. Now you can scrap these things and it gives you a, a rock, you know, some rocks. But I got another one that won't last me much longer, so I better build another one. Just to have for the moment. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that, you know, this is basically how we're going to play this. You know, this early stuff is, is, you know, we'll go out once we get a little bit more acclimated to our surroundings and we can can really get uh, get some work out. Look at all this wood I got. I'm, I'm not hurting for wood at all. This is a pretty decent place to start out at. Now, these are not anything new in the game. There's basically the same uh, houses and stuff. Nothing, you know, no, there's, no, there's nothing really big and huge and, and scary to find. Um, I mean, we can... I like to I like to you know make this place fortified enough that I have places to go in the event that I get attacked. Like when a horde knight comes, and, I, and, I, and let me explain a horde to you. Uh, the game is called Seven Days to Die. All right, that means that you have a seven days before something bad, really, really, really bad happens. And that really bad thing that happens is that um, on the seventh day, at nighttime, no matter what you can do, you can't hide. I mean, we can hide, but it doesn't really matter. But the zombies will find you, and depending on your level of 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 uh, you know defense, you may be able to survive inside of a structure and not do anything. Me, I like to be prepared and have a line of defenses, and then just pick them off, because they you know because then you have to go back through. And I have wasted so much time in this game playing where you spend an entire horde night doing uh, you know just defending your home. And then a good portion of the next day, rebuilding everything. And you have it's you know it can get to be like a, a a rat race where all you do is just build and defend, build and defend, and you don't actually play the game. But if you can get to the point where you don't have to worry about it as much, like you get really good defenses, and I'll show you some really decent defenses that I've used that are really great. It's a good starting point, and you can build onto it. Maya, uh, if you know, if you go back and watch uh, the video, and I, maybe I'll put a link to it in, the, in you know a card or something on this, on this is to show you the, um, I call it the lab, uh, where I just, you know, learned how to play the game and, and, and really studied and figured out things so that when Bailey and I would play, we would be better at it, not so crappy. But I had, you know, these really great defenses with, um, you know, wooden railings and, and pits with, uh, you know, wood spikes in them to, you know, to keep you from getting attacked. Now, 
they the, the zombies will get through everything eventually. They will eventually punch through, you know, to to get to you. But normally what happens is that you can uh you can usually kill them before they do. So every good defense is as, as good as or every good defense is as good as the offense that goes with it and with what we do um our defenses allow us to put on a pretty decent offense. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it's, you know, this game is part crafting, part survival, you know, uh, you know, Minecraft-ish zombies, and there's also a, an element of tower defense. If you've ever played those games like Dota or whatever it is, where you have to, you know, you can build uh, zombies, uh, plants versus zombies. There's a new game out now that is... Uh, I forget what it's called. Fortnite. Fortnite. So, yeah. So, basically, it's more of a cartoonish version of Seven Days to Die in that it is more – it's like Plants vs. Zombie meets uh, Seven Days to Die. It's called Fortnite, which is two weeks. So, there you go. You can't see where they were going for it, which pisses me off because that's a – that's that – this game is, like, built off of the Unity engine. It was, like, a grassroots kind of thing. It's still in alpha – and it's got so much to it, and somebody has to come along and copy it, and they get a little bit more of a, um, they get, you know, they get more exposure and stuff. And I, I looked at, I looked at uh, Fortnite. I thought that would might be a fun game, but it's somewhat more of a multiplayer uh, aspect to it than it is just single player. This you can play single player, you can play co-op, you can play multiplayer. The co-op is of course split screen, and then multiplayer is you know over land or whatever else. And we don't seem to have any uh, big issues right now. We seem to be pretty good. Zombies will just spawn everywhere, and they will respawn. Even if you go and you clean a place out, eventually you come back to it, there will be zombies. And I was saying before about how there are certain um, er you know, there's certain areas that are just regenerated. Uh, you know, in the in this case... We can see I have this house. There are varying degrees of decay and, and fortification of houses. They all kind of look the same. They all have sort of the same uh, look and feel to them. They don't, nothing is, you know, they're, none of them are really that different from each other. But let me plug a, like a big, huge rock in the middle of the driveway. Get to spread the damn gravel out. We can take a little walk, just, just a little walk up over the hill, see what we got going on. Um, I think I turned on, like, distance draw. But my goodness, look at this. It's pretty as hell. This is, uh, I'm actually quite impressed with this game. For as goofy and, and you know, as some of the textures are, and it really does lend itself to, like, remember the old game of Rust, which I don't even know if anybody plays Rust anymore, but Rust was a, a kind of the same idea of Minecraft. They all kind of, like, went for the same thing. I think this game's been around for about four or five years now. Uh... Let's see if I had that. I could do that challenge. I could go and kill this. I, you know what? Look at this. Look at, look at this. Holy crap, dude. I don't ever think I remember seeing this much Vista in my other game. I don't know if that's because of the update or just something I switched on as, as a setting. But dear moy moy, this is much prettier. I've heard that the, oh, there's a chicken. I've heard that the, uh, the PC version is a lot prettier, but this is a lot better than it was. It it got better. It's like that newt in uh, uh, Monty Python: The Holy Grail. It got better. So it's about one thirty. We didn't get a uh, we didn't get an airdrop. Do we not get an airdrop the first day? Is that just not happen? It takes one day for an airdrop, I guess. I don't know what, ha what happened with that. Um, some of the textures are a little bit goofy, I guess. Yeah, there are some goofy textures. There's a rabbit running across the road. Now you see these tires. I, I don't have a knife. I want to have a knife to, uh, to, to you know, to work on them because you can get uh, parts from them to build mini bikes. And if you've ever watched us play the other series, you know we once we got that mini bike, that's and that's you know, it kind of breaks the game a little bit. I'm saying that f from a standpoint of it's an aspect of the game that allows you to bypass a lot of the uh, the danger. A mini bike will allow you to avoid things like zombies, you know, the mini hordes, stuff like that. 
you can get away from things faster. You can store more. It sort of becomes a um, a game changer in a sense because once you get to the point where you have a, zo- uh, a mini bike, you can then travel the map a lot faster and find more places. And you know that kind of ends the game. That kind of when you get to the point of having a, a, a uh, is that a zombie? I don't know. Oh, I better better build some more arrows. I didn't think about that. Good thing I remembered. Fourteen. That's better. When you get to the point where you don't have or where you have um, a mini bike, you ha- you have no fear. There is no more fear in the game, because you can walk into a building, see ten thousand zombies, and say, "Well, this was a bad idea," and then you just turn around and walk out and get on your bikes and ride, just like Freddie Mercury. And therefore, you know, there's no there's no sense of danger. There's no there's no fear anymore because once you have a mini bike, you cannot run anything. Even you can even go. Are the clouds moving? The clouds are moving. How about that? I didn't notice that before. Maybe that's a new thing too. I don't know. This is new for me. I was so focused on playing the game with Bailey, I never actually stopped to look around at the, at the world we were in um, to see, you know, what we had going on. And it just looks so much prettier now. What's uh, what else we got going on here? Anything else good? So okay, well, we're kind of at the we're you know we're kind of like stuck at a, at a point right now because I don't want to go wandering too far off. We don't have a lot. There's a lot of road. There's a, we found a lot of good stuff. Usually I spend a lot of time just trying to find shelter, trying to find supplies, and we have spawned in such a great area that we really don't have to worry about it. And I'm I'm kind of not uh, complaining about the lack of zombies that I've seen. I mean we saw three and they kind of t- kicked their ass a little bit. You know, right off the bat, but we're in we're in pretty decent shape. I mean, there's all kinds of there's just all I can see so much that's going on. Where where are we? Oh, there's a zombie right there. We have time. He didn't see us right now. That's where we we we've explored that much of the map so far, and there's a ton more to explore. But um, we can just avoid him, kind of. I guess. I don't know if there's that bear. I don't want to get that. I don't want to get run up with that bear yet. That bear will will destroy us. I don't want to. How much would it? Oh, I you know I need iron. There's gonna be it's gonna be a while before I can build that crossbow. I just realized that that crossbow requires a more. Uh, but I heard footsteps. <laughs> that crossbow requires uh, iron glue. Iron. Well, I have iron. I can make glue eventually. Or I, mean, I have I have things to make iron. I don't have a forged iron yet. I don't have iron. I don't have glue at the moment. But um, you know what we should do? We should go get some yucca in the event. That, I don't think there's any yucca in this part of the... This isn't like a real f- uh, desert area. I don't think we have to worry about overheating yet. And then, you know, we'll get we'll get more into the you know your clothing idea. You know what keeps you warm? What keeps you cool? Um, I'm going to tell you right now, bandanas are a good thing to have. They will keep you cool. If you ever find yourself, um, getting cold, first thing you know, first thing you do, start taking off the clothes that keep you cool. And that helps raise your temperature up real quick. I learned that the hard way. When I was, I was basically, I was basically freezing and didn't realize like, I was like, I've got, I've got all these clothes on and I'm still cold. And I couldn't figure out that I had a bandana on and sunglasses that cooled me off and the hat. As soon as I took all that stuff off, you would think, taking off, oh, we're right next to the, oh my goodness, we are right, okay, I don't want to go anywhere near that place right now. There will be dogs, zombie dogs are a pain in the ass because they can outrun you. Because they have no lack of stamina, where you will run out of stamina, as you saw me fighting off those three zombies. So that wasteland area is where the creepy ice cream man runs around. As you heard, heard, you know, you've heard me and Bailey talk about um, creepy ice cream, man, that weird sound. But and this just extends. It's not even. Holy cow, dude. There's the house. Bear must have wandered off. I hear it. I'm going to run for the house real quick. Because I do not want to deal with a bear. No, sorry, Bobby, do. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, the 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 wasteland area, the, the the destroyed wasteland. That place is not cool. It is not good for you. It will hurt you. Um, that's basically where you find a lot of your um, uh, a lot of your dogs. That in towns, you don't see too many dogs just wandering around in the woods. 
unless they're an adjacent to like a biome that would have them. And that is one that has them. Oh, there's a car. We can just go check that car out and hopefully not get attacked. Uh, we see anything with our elven eyes? No, we don't see anything with our elven eyes. But there, you know, there is some good treasure. There's some good, you know, I call it treasure, but uh, it's like Bellathor <laughs> in Skyrim. I call it treasure. Come do come back, creepy bastard. Um, ooh, so you can hear the noise has already changed. And the sky gets all wonky and shit. This is like the bomb dot area. This is like where the bombs dropped, kind of, idea. It's, you know, there's such a weird, weird shit going on here. But what I was trying to say was, is that um, there are those bombed out buildings. And usually each one of them has um, like a cooler or lockers or desks or something around them, which will help you find good stuff. Like, you know, you could find... I could probably find, you know, food or, you know, and stuff. We'll go check one of them out just to show you what I'm talking about. There's probably going to be anything. It'll, it'll make a liar out of me. So, jars, that's not too bad. Trash can. Oil and, you know, that. Um, there's more stuff here, but, you know, you just keep looking around. You see more, more, uh, there's, sometimes there's ovens. And, you know, that's a good way to find cooking pot. Find buildings that have, that have apartments in them. Cooking pot. Cooking pot is a big thing to get early on when you can because it helps um, take care of, you know, your basic needs. And one of your basic needs is going to be food and water. And if you can uh, tackle getting a cooking pot early, then you have the ability to make your own good water and cook your food. And that is uh, that that's your first First real huge big step towards becoming uh, able to survive the, whatever the apocalypse. Does. You see, there's a dog. See what I said? We're not going anywhere near the damn dog. I don't want to go anywhere near that dog yet. I don't have a good enough uh, weaponry. We're going to spend all night making good weapons, and then we'll be ready. So now let's go back into the you know let's go back into where everything's not so green. Hooey. But, you know, we, we this is our just our normal area right here we're going to hang out at. We're not going to go too far away just yet. Uh, once we get, you know, more prepped up, we will. We will, uh, we will, we will, we will start to branch out a little bit and look and, and you know, go more away from, you know, get further away from home and, and, and start, you know. And that's, you know, that's kind of one of the things we'll probably talk about when we play, uh, you know, on our little topic sections like, just the things about life. I don't have, uh, you know, I don't have Fallout Shelter anymore. Um, you know, the, the the old days where you just go out on quests and, and, and just do talk and shoot the breeze. I don't have that anymore. So I got, I, I need a new game. I need a new game. And that's, that's this one right now. <laughs> so there you go. All right. Uh. Yeah, we're kind of like in a, in a, in a it's three o'clock. We, we, we kind of are like in a standstill at this moment. Um, I will go here. Let's go get some clay. So build a shovel. I'm, you know, we're, t we're doing all these things half-assed and backwards, but it will make sense. Uh, our tools, where's our tools at? Tools and traps. I can't make a, a stone shovel yet. Stone shovel. How do I need to make a stone shovel? What am I out of? I don't have any stone. Oh, I don't have any stone. How about that? Oh, here we go. Here's a block of block of stuff I can just get stone from. I didn't realize I was out of stone. Jeez. So build a shovel. And, you know, once you get to a point where... Just take out the essentials. And that's the thing. Like, when I play, would, would play Minecraft, I would take out, like, three swords, three shovels, three... three uh, Axes, you know, sorry, pickaxes and stuff like that. Here, I do kind of the same thing, but with food, food, water, and, and just one of my. Uh, let's see if I get clay out of that. Yeah, clay. This is good stuff. Clay is good to have. Clay is is a very good thing to have. You want to get clay or as early as, and often as you can. Sometimes you can't find clay unless you go into the water. But if you can find these little patches of, of, of weird dirt with the with the flowers on them in the uh, the nicely you know the the, the forest forestry biomes, you want to get clay because I'll show you you know what we got going on here. So clay, what what do you need to use clay to make? 
cobblestone rocks, which you're going to use to you know build up your stuff. It makes all kinds of stuff, but a forge, that's that's an important thing. So once, you know, making a forge will help us make uh, forged iron, of course. And the way to make a bellows, or make to make a forge is to make a bellows. That's the one thing we don't have. We have a short iron pipe. The bellows is always the hardest thing to make. Um, what am I, I, I got to type it in, I guess. Oh, here, miscellaneous. Let's try miscellaneous. Maybe it's in there never find it yeah a bellows animal you need 20 animal hide or 20 leather i have not enough of it either but it's nice that though they kind of like they changed it a little bit it used to be you had to have just a 20 animal hide now you can have 20 leather that's not too shabby i have like oh we want we, we want we want this pig because we want to kill this pig okay mr piggy we have to re-up re our arrows. We want to get him towards the house. Oh, he heard us. He knows we're coming after him. He heard us. Shit, don't run away, Mr. Pig. Shit. Oh, now it's a race. It'll help out immensely. Just beat the hell out of you now. Oh, you shit. No, don't run out there. God darn it. Do we dare? We dare. <laughs> dare to be stupid. Well, one good up. Hasn't noticed it yet, but it got up because it was a background thing. We're not going to go after him. But we're going to use this bone shiv and get awesome stuff from it. Get more animal hide and we can make more leather. Oh, there's a freaking dog. We're going to get... Oh, it's a race against time now, people. It's a race against time. We just want to get our stuff and get out of here. We don't want to mess with you guys. We just want to get our stuff and go. Okay, we're gonna back away slowly and run like shit out of here. Run like the Dickens. Ooh. Hopefully we don't get seen. We've already out of stamina, but I think we made it. I think we did a good. Oh, the sounds get you every single time. The sounds will get you. All right, we're good. We made it. Back to the house, so we can see our bed now on the map. You can always find it again. <laughs> Run as much as you can. It'll help your athletics. And then there are skills to use, uh, skill points to use against to help you run further and farther. Or, <laughs> that's the same word, further, farther, faster and farther, whatever. No, not really, but it's good stuff to have. You can get stuff for gunpowder out of that. Alrighty. Okay, so we've got... <laughs> We've we've got we've got almost enough to make a bellows, which would be make a forge, which would be a great thing to have early on in the game. It'd be awesome. And like I said, that challenge to kill animals, I would have wasted a lot of the time just on that one pig alone. So it wouldn't have been worth it. It wouldn't have been worth it to waste the uh, the effort on doing it because you get skill points and stuff from completing those challenges. So I always wait until I have. All the, you know, they're not, you know, there's a set number of them. Once you figure out what they are, you won't, uh, you know, you won't be caught by surprise when you see them. Is that a zombie? Is that a tree? Okay, it's a tree. And the textures do screw you up because they, they kind of look like a, you know, the cactuses look like zombie or cacti look like zombie. And some of the trees look like zombies. They, they share the same colors. I don't know if that was intentional or just a byproduct of, of you know, the limited uh, limited amount of, of design of the game. I think, it's, I think it's on purpose because, you know, that would just be me thinking that. So it's now 4.30. We have another six hours, which is basically 12 minutes, I guess. 
before we uh, hit uh, nighttime. We're going to get as much wood as we can. I know we sort of like, kind of like went around the, went all over the place uh, with some of our discussion on playing the game, but it, uh, it just sort of necessitated the way we worked. All right, uh, let's see here. We'll create those, my, my basics. Get back to your basics. All right, we got corn seed out of something. As you can see, now I have a 10. My axe is a level 10 every time you build an axe. Now, there was a thing. I don't know if it still works. Because you only, I mean, you get wood. It, it takes wood and stone and, and, and grass fibers to make a um, an axe. But you used to be able to, like, level up and do stuff if you, um, you know, built and scrapped, build and scrap, build and scrap your tools. I don't know that that's necessarily the case anymore. I think they fixed that in a, in a recent update on, on PC anyways. I don't know if now that if the uh, PS4 has adopted the, the PC bugs or glitches, quite possible they did or they didn't. <clears throat> I remember that pissed me off when Bailey and I would play. When we first played the um, the uh, the ability to scrap items. It was like we had, you know, all these broken weapons that we couldn't use. We just tossed them, or they just destroy. You know. We couldn't scrap things, and we like we built ten thousand things, and we're like, oh, well, what do we do with all this crap now? We can't use it for anything. Let's uh, let's actually, we can. Oh, you need. Oh, we don't have the hoe to fix the ground. That's what it is. I'm gonna. You can, if you have wood, you can fix these items and make them stronger again. They, they you know, they have different levels of just, you know, being screwed up, and. You know, it helps towards your construction. You might as well you do it. Do whatever you can. You know, just do random shit just to make your make your stats go up. Because the quicker you get your stats up, the quicker you can get some some much needed skill points. Because once you get to the point where you have to worry about food and water, it helps to to have it helps to be able to remove the. Um, ooh, I'm on top of the tree here. Hello. Uh, it helps to be able to remove the. Uh, you know. The hunger. Uh, what do I? What don't I want? What don't I want? I can scrap. You can scrap the lead weights. You get lead out of it. And you see, I'm still scrapping it, and it adds to my thing. Scrap whatever you don't want to use. It's a good thing to just have around, and it also helps you save on inventory space. So scrap, scrap items to you know consolidate. We're going to build this door up. There we go. That's a good door. That's a good door. I like that boulder. That's a good boulder. Um, we're going to fix this stuff up here as it gets darker. we got to build some uh, some light in here. Hey, how about that? I built a wood frame, and then I fixed the wood frame. I didn't realize I could do that way. Okay. Oh, that sound is us being hungry and thirsty. We've gotten to the point where there's hunger and thirsty, and I really do not want to eat poo. So there you go with that. Yeah, we, we we're gonna we're gonna probably take this wall down because this is an entry point that we can't watch. So we might want to you know take care of that. All right, so here we go. We've got some we got some time to to to, to do some stuff. We're gonna fix some shit up. I want to get rid of this because this will burn me, I think. I don't think it actually... I could have put the fireplace in there, I guess. Uh, can we build a torch? We have one torch right now. And we're going to just put it down. Oh, we got pine cones. How about that? I'll put this torch right on the wall here. So we can see stuff. kind of helps us out a little bit. Now, when you find these houses... Take a look. Take a look at these floors. See these floors? Something about these floors don't look right. These little panel things here. Let's get this uh, torch and, and get a better, get closer look here. See that metal plate that's on the floor? See how that one doesn't look like it's covering something? Well, that's because there's... I 
That's because there, underneath this wood, there is a... Um, I don't want to... Underneath this wood, or underneath that metal plate, there is a, a hole. You can see, there's something there. So we want to... We can't pick this one up. We have to actually destroy it, which sucks, but we can build another one. But now, you see this here? There are moldy backpacks in there. Probably nothing good in here. Oh, part of a shotgun, you know, whatever. Um, we can't do anything with it for the moment. Let's build a frame. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. Let's see, we got eight, eight animal hide. We got 13 animal hide. We almost have enough. Cripes. We almost have enough to make a pillows. But we can make, what can we, how many leather can we make out of it? We need... If we make if we make one animal hide, if, I guess it makes. We have thirteen. We need one. I I would just assume. I don't understand the point. Why would be Why would we? Uh, we don't have much. Do we have any leather? We have two leather. And we have fifteen. So we have enough. If we find ourselves getting more, oh, you know what? I have those two beds. I wonder if those beds will produce anything besides uh, cloth fragments. Oh. Huh. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. So, yeah, we got a lots, to, lots to fix up here. Lots to build. Torch, okay. Yeah, tallow. Did I spell I spelled it wrong. That's what I did. Ha! I'm an idiot. No! What the shit, Sherlock? What the heck? Let's, let's, let's do this. Animal fat can be cooked down to tallow at a campfire. Okay. But we, I think we need to have a cooking pot, don't we? we need, we're missing things to make it, right? I mean... Oh, here we go. Okay, you have to actually go into the item that you can use to... Okay. Uh, let's see here. Tallow can be used for candles, torches, and flaming arrows. However, this X up here tells us we need a cooking pot. We don't have a cooking pot yet. Now, we could build a cooking pot if we could build a forge. So, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of tempted. I'm half tempted. I'm half tempted to go out and find a deer and kill another deer or kill another animal and get enough animal hides to, uh, to make a bellows and make a forge this early in the game. I don't know if that's so wise a thing to do. <laughs> it probably isn't. Um... It depends on if I can find an animal real close by this late in the game. This late in the day, I should say. Well, we got a few minutes. Let's just take a little walk. We already walked that way. We'll walk this way. My goodness, what are we doing? We're, 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 I'm violating my own rules here, people. For your, for your convenience and for your edification, I am going to violate some rules that I usually don't violate. And I made the dumb mistake of keeping... Uh, keeping some uh, animal, f you know, f meat on me. It's going to make me very attractive to other... If I had just killed that damn dog, I would have been done. But I didn't want to go that route just yet. Wasn't ready to go that route just yet. Hmm. And we are slowly... We are going to be slowly running out of food and water here soon. So that presents a problem. Shit, and zombies are starting to pop up everywhere. Getting to be that time of day. Getting to be that time of day. Cactus, we can get... We can get stuff from cactus. What we can get from cactus? We can get yucca from cactus? I think we can get yucca. Grass fibers from cactus. Yeah, we got a couple of yucca. We can make some yucca plants. Well, there's a pig. Do we dare try it? I really don't want to. Shit. He's going in the water. He's going right for the damn water. And there's a zombie. Oh, I can't. This is loud. 
Oh! Oh shit, I'm being chased pretty hard. Well, he's gone. I can't get to him. Oh my. Hey, there's another house. Or is that my house? Oh, that's another house. Ah! Ring around the rosy with a damn zombie in this one in the water. Oh crap, there's another one over there too. Piggy, you and I gotta have a little talk. No, don't go that way, you shithead. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> the water, I don't like the water sound. It's a lot of sound. A lot of sound I don't want to deal with. I'm still being... Oh! 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 Bitch! No! Just happened to have a good bandage on me. She's not dead yet. Crap. And I'm heading right to land and another damn zombie. <sighs> Crap. Where'd that pig go? There's a zombie in there. Oh, he broke down the door. Okay, well, now we've got some problems. Now we got some problems. Oh, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even. We're going to just screw it. <laughs> All right, well, never mind. We're not doing it today. <laughs> I knew it was a bad idea. I I entertained, I entertained bad ideas, and I'm paying for it right now. I'm paying for some bad, I'm paying for bad ideas. Hi, I'm finding the, I'm finding the stuff I need. I'm finding stuff I need. That's, that's, you know, getting glue. Got glue. That pig. That pig got away. Probably died. Eventually. I do not get to reap the benefits of that pig. Are we still we're still being hunted. We need to get away. All right, we've managed to get away from everything. So there you go. That's uh, that's the first half of the video. <laughs> didn't do too so well. Didn't do so well. When it came down to it, we had we, we did not have the uh, fortitude to stand up to uh, some to a pig. Holy shnikes! What did I find? An army helmet. Ugh! 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 Son of a bitch! Oh no! I want the flashlight. I want the flashlight. Shit. Um, what can we make? Can we make anything? Damn. No, that's not help. Shit. Ah. Oh. Here's some rocks over here. I mean, I have any. Okay. Um. What, what's what's going on there? We'll just make some arrows until we. Uh, you know, run out of something. Make arrows. So we run out of the feathers. Oh, and of course the damn iron. Ah. Okay. I want some of the stuff out of this bed. Oh, where do they go? No, I've, I've lost the thread. I want that flashlight. We can do it. What can we do without? Do without the hat. There's another one over here. What is over here? Holy crap, dude! Alright, let's get rid of these things. We don't need these things. Scrap the club. Take that. Leave the gun, grab the cannoli. Okay, we're good to go now. Yeah. We got some good stuff. I mean, we got, you know, it wasn't a total loss. We found some good stuff on the way back. So, yeah, there we go. Now we're in good shape. We need to get some more rocks... We need lots of rocks because we're gonna have some building to be doing uh, for the, you know, for the nighttime. Got to get some supplies to do the nighttime stuff. 
Am I just dropping rocks everywhere? Yeah, I'm dropping rocks everywhere. I'm not. All right. Uh, shite. All right, let's get rid of the let's get rid of the chrysanthemums for right now. We need their. Uh, hey dudes. <laughs> the Rolling Stones here, everybody. <laughs> I wasn't able to pick up all. Hey, the iron got in the way. That's a new thing. There, there wasn't iron before. I've gotten so intent on playing the game, I forgot about my beer. It's now warm pumpkin. Hmm. All right, let's let's just leave that. I keep running into more and more bags. What the deal, man? Holy shnikes, dude. Keep running into more of this stuff. More flashlights. It's awesome. What can I take? What can I lose? What can I afford to lose? Nothing right now. Nothing can I afford to lose. Lose the shovel. All right. There is a bounty of just crap around this house. This is a great spawn. I mean, we just literally like fell on top of, you know, things that I would not normally get until later on in the game. All right. First thing I want to do right now I want to build up some 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 quick defenses. Um, you can find them under miscellaneous. These wooden, uh, wooden wooden railings. Wooden railings. These are good things to have. All right, we don't have any in our, in our inventory. We're gonna just go drop some stuff off. So here's the thing. Wooden railings are great because they allow you to create a barrier between you and the zombies. And the great thing about them is, is that, oh shit, son of a bitch. I got to take care of him. He'll be here at night in like two hours. He'll be running at the house. Yeah, we got to go take care of him. Oh, I may I crouched. I didn't want to crouch. All right, get him. Get him while he's down. Just pit him in the nets. Who cares? All right, you little asshole. Oh. Crap. Well, we're kind of screwed now. Oh, you son of a bitch. That was pointless. But anyways, what I was trying to say was that this will keep this from happening. <laughs> this will kind of keep this from happening a little bit. We, we got to get inside here. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with this later. I, I gotta, I gotta take care of some other things. Hopefully, we won't have a lot of, a uh, lot of problems tonight. It should be pretty quiet, one would think. But we will uh, put that up for now. That'll just help things. Um, and put one out here as well. We don't want this. We don't want problems. This will keep people from coming out out the door to get us. All right. Okay. That's good. All right, let's go. Let's go eat. Let's get let's get ourselves fixed up a little bit. Because it's almost nighttime and then that that becomes us just messing around and doing other things. 
I don't think of any. I don't have any. I'll have to make a, a concerted effort to find antibiotics, because I will not have any antibiotics. I don't. Can goldenrod tea help you out? What's? I don't have a thing. I can't make goldenrod tea. I'm kind of screwed at this point. I almost think there's no point in me like living. Uh, I've already lost a, a wellness point, so. Shit, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna just t let let death take me, and and respawn here. So I, I can. I mean, I'll do stuff in the house. I'm gonna die in the house. Is what I'm gonna do. I will die in the house. So I mean, there's you know. Yeah. I'm gonna die anyways. I might as well die in the house. <laughs> It's just, there's no there's no real point to trying to fix it, fix this because I can't right now. Uh oh, we got company. Shit, we got company. All right. Uh, yeah, if we die, we die. He's just walking through, but something's hunting us. go to the upstairs? He did, didn't he? Little asshole. He did, he went around. You dick. Well, there we go. We died. That just solved the problem, though, at least. <sighs> we only had on us a couple of things, which is not bad. So, there you go. We've died already. Yes, got it out of the way. The pressure's off now. He's got to be almost done, right? There we go. Finally. Oh! He had painkillers. Well, my 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 body is no longer. Um, my oh shit, oh shit! It's nighttime. Well, okay, get in the damn house. Get in the damn house. All right. Most part, we don't have to worry. Let's build some frames and get to work. We got lots to do. Okay, so now we come to the portion where I just go through the motions of building stuff and then we talk. And I kind of plan to do this for each episode. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what structure we're going to deal with uh, but uh, or what time limit. Because as you can see, we've already gone over an hour uh, in the recording. But, you know, this is the way the game plays. I set it for two hours to record and I figure I could cut it down. But I did actually put a lot of content in uh, on the fr front end. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways... So here we are. Uh, I'm going to just freeform talk over certain topics to just have as like a vlog. Um, I'm going to ask you, if you're still paying attention, if you haven't turned off and gone to somebody else, uh, to suggest in the, in the comments what you'd want me to talk about. Is there anything that, you know, any questions you have, anything you want to know uh, about gaming, about any of the games, about being a YouTuber, stuff that I can help you make, you know, informed decisions about. I, I can't give you much in the way of experience. Uh, expertise but I can give you uh, you know what not to do uh, you know I'm all always going to be the uh, example of how not to do things so basically the structure of this you know first thing we want to talk about is what is gonna be the structure of this it all depends on well how well this first video goes as I said before um, I'm playing the first half of the game the day playing first half of the day as hey here's how you do this here's how you do that here's a tip for this and then at night, when it's time for me to hunker down in the house and, and avoid zombies and just uh, work on fixing up this house and making it a viable fortress of, of solitude or to just, uh, you know, c craft things and get things ready, we will uh, I will record a voiceover for this part and sort of time it to, to you know, cover the amount of footage I can have uh, as to not go over. So I don't know exactly the time that I might go down to an hour per video. I might go to... 
you know, I, I don't know. I, I thought about maybe splitting this off like I used to do with, with uh, like, uh, when we played the Joe Gating Pack, uh, the mo modded Minecraft, where I would record, and if I had to go build something or if I had to go do just uh, mean meaningless mining stuff up, I would start up and have a rant or a vlog post. Um, we used to do this with uh, Fallout Shelter. I used to, to, you know, when we got into the, all of the questing on Fallout Shelter, it became sort of a repetitive thing where I'd go out to a location, walk through each room, kill the things in the room, gather up all the stuff, and then keep moving. And it sort of became uh, hard for me to, to really be enthusiastic about just commenting on, oh, I'm kicking that Death Claw's butt. So I turned it into a uh, forum for me to just sort of chit chat with you, have a little conversation, have a, you know, talk about my life, spin some stories. I love telling stories. I love, you know, coming up with theories and engaging in, in ideas of, of, of things. I mean, we can talk about anything. We can talk about Star Wars, my thoughts on the new Star Wars movies, my thoughts on the Marvel Universe, my thoughts on which is better, Star Wars or Star Trek. We can have that whole discussion. I can take either end. I can be the for or against in any conversation and figure out a way to sort of debate back and forth. Now, I, I would like to try to stress that I want to stay sort of in the realm of just, you know, every day, not politics, not religion, not anything like that. I and mean, if we really want to, if it really gets to be a point where we need to have that discussion because of things happening and every day seems like what's going to happen next, maybe we do that. But I don't want to, I don't want to use that, you know, I don't want to use this forum for that. I've done it a couple times in some of the other videos and I, I don't like doing it. Um, I had a specific, you know, parody idea for uh, Sims 3, and it didn't go over as, as well as I thought it would. Maybe it did. I don't just, I mean, as compared to what I'm used to seeing in my uh, my count, but maybe not. So I don't know that uh, we will continue that. Uh, that brings me into uh, uh, my next topic. Uh, we've almost spent five minutes talking about just the structure of these videos. Let's talk about the channel in general. What is the future for the Angry Cast and uh, my YouTube channel? Well, uh, <laughs> you may or may not be watching this video uh, with an ad on it. Now, I don't like to make long, huge videos because that means that there's going to be more ads on top of them. Um, you know, I try to keep it to a half an hour or less. I don't like to to interrupt. I don't want you to have to sit through a 30 second ad, especially when you can't skip. That would be my preference. We could skip them after a few seconds. But the, the truth of the matter is, is that I, since the inception of the Angry Cats, which was 2013, I have and I have a video talking about it. I have made $100. Uh, this the the cost to run this channel is really next to nothing. But for me to provide content, I need to get games, and games cost money. I need to get storage with these uh, portable or these external hard drives, these four terabyte hard drives that I have sitting right next to me, that hold all of the raw footage and and all of the finished videos, sort of a, like a you know posterity. Those cost a hundred and plus dollars at a clip. I've got four of them. There's there's five hundred dollars sitting on my table right now, in in a laptop. So there's a thousand dollars in front of me, plus all the games I've bought over the over the last three years. I like to stick to indie games, but with the PS4 and being able to share streaming off of the PS4, I've branched into buying other games like Fallout or uh, Grand Theft Auto or Uncharted. And I'm I'm you know I'm debating on whether or not to get the new Uncharted because I've watched some of the footage and it looks like a rehash of a lot of Uncharted 4 with different characters in a different story. So, And I felt that that was, even 4 was a little lacking in, in the area. So, I mean, it, it's, you know, having to spend money I don't have, especially right now, and I'll get into that later, it's hard for me to justify the costs. It's like, I know you got to spend money to make money, you got to break a few eggs to make an omelet, but um, I'm, I got no chickens left in the, in the hen house. Uh, so it's kind of hard for me to justify that. So I don't know. And especially... Right now, what's what's going on? I've I've had a couple of uh, I, I put a couple of p tweets up on Twitter about this. I've talked about it before. I did a couple videos. There is a s really big problem right now with YouTube in general. What's going on is YouTube got into this big huge problem, and this is what pisses me off about YouTube in general, is that they're one of the biggest and most advanced technological company, you know, technology companies. Google owns them. I mean, you know, that we're talking about top of the line. Uh, of tech out there, internet, you know, social media, all that kind of stuff. And they're so bad at certain things. So what's going on is that videos right now were being demonetized because they were considered to be ad, non, not ad friendly, or they were putting into restricted mode. And I, maybe I can sneak in the two uh, screenshots here. But what happens is, is that v the advertisers look at the videos and say, hey, you're putting 
our ads in front of videos that talk about religion or talk about politics or talk about, God forbid, human sexuality, and we don't like that. So we're not going to give you money to have advertising on these videos. So that's what happens. And then the next thing you know, you don't have anybody advertising on YouTube, and therefore you're not making any money. So you're not making any money because that's how that works. You sit through a 30-second ad. For every 1,000 views, technically the way it works is you get a dollar. And after you know 10,000 views, you can start to monetize your channel. And then you can go through that whole 1,000 views, $1 kind of deal. I have I was lucky enough to be grandfathered in because I'd already had over 10,000 views on this channel when they put that rule down. But then they started doing saying, you know, they started saying that um, you can't monetize certain videos because they don't uh, they don't jibe with the with, you know, their their standards. So they put them into the to the uh, the, the restricted area. Now, if you're watching in restricted mode and you hear, you know, the screenshots will show, you can see that not every video I put out there is available. And not even every video that would be considered kid friendly is out there and available outside of restricted mode, which pisses me off because there's no rhyme or reason as to why they do this, why they have these, you know, these videos flagged. If everybody played for re YouTube Red, it wouldn't be such a big deal, but that shouldn't have to. And, you know, kids are kids. They shouldn't have to. Now, I admit, I am not the most kid-friendly YouTuber out there. I do swear. I swear in front of my kid. My kid is a different story. She's a different kind of person, and I've raised her in a different way. Maybe not to everybody's liking. I don't know. But she's a good kid, and she understands, and she she will call me out for saying something wrong. Um, you know, she's i got a good head on her shoulders. You've seen her on the channel. I mean, we play Grand Theft Auto, but we, we play it in such a way that I sort of not do some of the things that would be really questionable. I mean, it's computer-generated violence is not that big of a deal. I mean, we under, she understands. She used to watch us when she was like two years old. She used to watch us play House of the Dead on the Wii, and nobody seemed to care. It, she understood. She didn't. She got it. She, she watched J Jurassic Park and Ghostbusters at that age, so it's not that big of a deal. But the, the problem with – I'm not everybody's parent. And so I do sort of feel responsible if there are kids out there watching content that would be questionable. But that's the parents' responsibility, not mine. They should be policing that, you know, their kids' uh, viewing habits. And if they're not aware of what their kids are watching, that's not, that's not my, uh, you know, responsibility. So I take no, re you know, responsibility for if a young kid watches my, my channel and sees something that they find que their parents would find questionable. Police your kids, you know. But the thing is, is that YouTube is policing everything and, and they're using algorithms and bot technology that is very bad at this idea. They're bad at the content matching and the content strikes that I would get on stupid stuff that I had to fight for. Like the people just saying they claim that they own a, a song, which is, no, that's Kevin McLeod. You don't own uh, Creative Commons licensed music. He does, and I'm allowed to because I give him credit based off of the Creative Commons licensing. I have done the following things to make sure that I'm allowed to do that, and therefore I can. You saying, that, oh, I wrote that song, just claiming out of the blue that you have a copyright to try to gain monetization. It was a bad, you know, bad thing on YouTube's part to allow a lot of that to go rampant as much as it did. But now this whole thing with the restricted videos are also horrible and also bad. Also, on top of that, now they are saying that, hey, you know what? We've, we're starting to demonetize your videos if we find that they are not ad-friendly, uh, which is – I understand that. I can, I can totally get – you know, Chick-fil-A doesn't want to be on a Satanist worship. You know, <laughs> I, I'm using it as an extreme example. I, I apologize. But you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like somebody who doesn't jive with the content of the, of, of the YouTuber, they shouldn't have to advertise. Well, there you again. Why isn't YouTube – matching the type of advertisers who are okay with any type of content and restricting only the content that is universally kid-friendly, easy to find out, with the advertisers who would only be, you know, okay with that type of content. Why isn't, you know, they can do that. They are a big tech company. If they can figure out how to do this stuff that they've already done, they can do it the other way. I think it's just for a way for them to just do a catch-all and get out of paying YouTubers, you know, revenue dollars. That's just my feeling. That's my opinion. I, I can't say 100% for sure, but, you know, hey, I've seen it. All videos that I have out there from the same game, some are saying that they are not ad-friendly. Some are saying that they are. Well, what, what is your criteria for, for deciding which one's which? And why is it within the same game title? Not GTA versus Fallout Shelter versus Little Big Planet versus Minecraft. It's 
you know, within the same game. One of my survival uh, episodes of Fallout Shelter was dinged for monetization, and the other ones weren't. Why is that? I mean, you can't tell me that they're going through and watching every single video to make sure that it's ad-friendly. There's something that they're using as an algorithm to make that happen. To which I say, fine, then review it. I request a review to say, why are you saying that this is not ad-friendly? But unfortunately, they say on their disclaimer, hey, you can request a review, but we may or may not get to it because it's not over 1,000 views. And once your video gets to 1,000 views, then we'll think about it. Okay, well, that puts us into a problem with this particular video. I'm never going to get 1,000 views on half of my videos. 75% of my videos won't receive 1,000 views. So anything that they demonetize is just lost forever. That's lost revenue. And so why should I continue to keep doing it? That's my problem. That's where I'm at today. Because here, coming up into topic three, I don't have a job. I don't have a job. Uh, I've been looking. I've been searching. I've been interviewing. I've had a couple of them come back and say, hey, we're, we're holding out. We're, we're going to get back to you. And I have yet to hear anything. This is, right now, today is August 24th. I have seven days until I am out of work. Now, I get a small amount of money each month from designing T-shirts, which is great. And I would say if I, you know, if you want to see me design a T-shirt and just do a graphic design uh, a video, maybe that's something to think about. Maybe that's something I could explore, a Patreon. But I don't really want to do that because that means I'm asking people for money versus sitting through a 30-second ad to watch me play a video game horribly. I, you can see where my, my loyalty lies. To you, the viewer you the subscriber to my channel to say I don't want you to have to pay any extra money to watch me fumble around with stuff horribly I can understand if I was making you know buku bucks putting out game guides and I was a pro gamer and doing all that stuff I could say yeah subscribe to my patreon give me money and we'll keep doing stuff but I can't do that for what the amount of content and the amount of actual credibility that I have I don't have that credibility I've got 430 some subscribers I'm not at that level and me asking people for, I'm never going to get to that level to where I would feel comfortable asking people to subscribe to a channel and pay money to do so. So I'm not going to, I don't know if I can do that. Now, if you are familiar, trade that information. Hey, if anything else, maybe it's a way for me to, to, to pass along stuff for other YouTubers that want to break away from this horrible, um, you know, phase that YouTube's going through with these growing pains and, and how you're not, you know, you're losing the platform. We're losing the platform as a way for us to, put out content and get ad revenue. So maybe that's a way to do something. Maybe that's where we have to go to. So if you know anything about Patreon and you can help me out with that, please, by all means, give me the info and we'll, we'll I'll, you know, I'll look into it. Maybe that's what we can do. Maybe it's a, it might become a different channel. It might become a different channel for me uh, if that's the case. Because if I can't continue to play video games and pay for video games, at least I know I can always do graphic design for free. It's just storage space and internet time. And if I'm going to have plenty of time, because like I said, I'm not going to have a job after the 31st, because I'm also losing my insurance, and I'm still currently going through PT. I just got done with PT uh, before I started this uh, this recording of this uh, voiceover, and that's kicking my butt a little bit, and I can got to continue to keep on going. And that's that was $25 out of pocket every time I went, so I was going twice a week. So it was 50 bucks a week just out of pocket to go to PT for a half an hour to strengthen up my arm. And after I get done with uh, the, uh, this, the end of the month, I'm going to be without insurance. It's going to be $50 out of pocket per visit. So it could be 100 And they're nice enough to say to me that I can maybe do the honor system and do a lot of my work at home and only go once a week for evaluation and stuff like that. And I'm hoping to do it that way. But 50 bucks is 50 bucks. It's $50 as I don't have for gas and for anything else versus, uh, you know, going to have, you know, g getting uh, food on my table. It, you know, I have to start thinking of things to, to, to do to uh, make sure I can recover my responsibilities. And that's the problem. I don't, if it, it wouldn't be such a big deal if I could do this a nine to five every single day, this kind of work, and get paid enough to cover all my responsibilities. But I have responsibilities. Now, the problem with my job is, is that the funny, actually, it's the funny thing about it is that <laughs> Since I was told I was being let go in June while I was sitting on my couch in a, a sling nursing this uh, post-surgery shoulder and being told that, hey, un due to cutbacks and due to enrollment, you know, your job's being eliminated. So at the end of August, you're done. Uh, since that time, two higher level people than me who make more money than me, have a better title than I do, have 
resign their positions to go look for work elsewhere. So the funny thing and the ir irony of it all is I said, you know, you're forcing me out into people who are making a hell of a lot more money than me have w willingly left. I think that's hilarious. And my boss, you know, who I have a, a decent relationship with, is sitting there and goes, yeah, it's not cool. I said, well, no, but you're the, you're the ones that decided to let go, let me go. And I understand it, it was a business decision. It wasn't something that was personal. I didn't really do anything wrong that I know of. I was, you know, I, I fell into this algorithm that they use to figure out how to reduce cost structure, uh, you know, for their bottom line. It's, hey, who makes the most money? Who has a duplicate role? Who, you know, it, it, there's whatever system they use to figure out where the cut corners at, they did, and I fell into that hole. Sometimes they do that and they start to remove people as they find out, uh, find better ways to get rid of uh, costs and they don't have to lose personnel, but this time they kept adding people. And, you know, our company got sold. We're going nonprofit now, and it's, it's becoming a, a bit of a thing. People are jumping ship left and right. But me, I got forced out. A bunch of people got let go right, you know, June 6th, uh, what was it, 17th, 18th, 19th, something around there. At there. You know, a massive amount of people got let go immediately. I was at least given uh, the, to the end of August. But it's just funny. So since then, people have resigned. I could probably stay on. and But I don't know if I want to. Now, here's the thing with that. My feelings and my thoughts are at war. My feelings are, screw you, you let me go, why would I want to stick around if given the opportunity? My thoughts are, I've got a mortgage, I've got child support, I've got car payments, i got utilities, I have all these other responsibilities. Money is money at this point. I can't make decisions based off of my dignity and my, uh, you know, <laughs> what I feel would be in my best interests. It has to be a calculated decision and that's one of the adult things that you have to deal with when you grow up is to you know taking it on the chin because you know what's best but that's the problem is, is that i don't really feel that uh me keeping that job would be in my best interest because here's the thing i don't have a prospect for a job right now if i decided to stay on just because you know just in the interim and got this job after i just took that decision i would lose that on my severance my severance is at least to keep me floating for a little bit I would lose that on my severance. And also, if they were to offer me a job, if I went to them and said, hey, is there anything you can just do, help me out, maybe just keep me on for a while. If they offer me a job and I st say no because of my feelings, I would lose out on unemployment benefits because I was offered a job and I turned it down. That's one of the problems of being an adult, having to know that you were, you know, if I were offered a job and I didn't take it, I'm saying, hey, you know, to, the, to them, I would rather be sit on my ass at home and do nothing and get benefit in, in unemployment than going back into the workforce and helping. And that's not me. I mean, I'm not Republican or Democrat in that way, and we're not going to get into that discussion. Uh, you know, people who sit around and do nothing and collect, you know, a paycheck, but that would be what I would be doing. And I can't do that legally and morally. So I would have to take the job, but I had to stay there regardless of my feelings. But if I do get the job and I leave and I or I do get the job and I lose that on my benefits or I lose it on the severance, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But I would start that new job and I wouldn't have it's a right now. The only thing I have going on right now is a six month contract to hire. That means for six months, I don't have benefits. I got a child. I've got PT. I've got, you know, uh, this convalescence of my shoulder. I would be sort of just gushing out money. Now, they can arrange for me to take less money or take make take more money to compensate me for that, but that's if they want to. And that could be, you know, that, that's a decision that could uh, backfire on me. So, the, the, you know, these are the things. I'm, I'm holding it together the best I can, along with other situations that are I can't control that are, you know, I have to deal with. Um, you know, I want to get into right now, but it, it's family involved. Um, and I also have a show to do next couple of weeks, doing a breakfast club, talked about that. And, you know, everything else. So it's just like the world is spinning out of control, and I'm trying to hold on for dear life like a merry-go-round at high speed, and sooner or later it's gonna, I'm going to let go and fly out and probably get injured. Uh, but that's where I'm at. And I don't mean to dump that all on you, but I wanted to get that out there so that, you know, you know what it's like being an adult if you are not an adult. So stay a kid as long as you can. <laughs> Uh, all right, enough of all that. That's that's those three topics are down. Date night, last date night. This is the this is this ties into future of the channel because I have decided I'm gonna I'm gonna have, end up having a hole in my schedule in more ways than one. Um, with Game of Thrones done and Back to the Future probably wrapping up, you know, eventually I'm gonna have a Friday night slot, and I don't know what to do with it. Uh, this 
could take its place, but I'm going to have uh, other slots. You know, I'm going to eventually find myself without a game to play and do a video on, or I'm just going to get tired of it. it it's, or, you know, I'm going to just take the, you know, something's going to happen. So I'm not exactly sure what to do. So I've been kicking around some ideas. Now, I, I, asked, I asked permission of my girlfriend, Megan, who I've talked about before. And I kind of want to. I kind of want to do this. This would be kind of interesting because I think it would be uh, an interesting concept. It might horribly backfire me, as most things do here uh, on my channel. But I was thinking of doing uh, a date night video, meaning the two of us would. play... She doesn't play video games. It would strictly be us on uh, the PS4 having a conversation while I play a video game, or I discussed possibly getting a game that both of us could play, like something that she would be enjoyable to. Like, uh, you know, they, they have those Hasbro uh, Family Night games, like Risk or Clue or stuff like that, or, or Trivial Pursuit. We both like watching Jeopardy sometimes. So I was thinking that. Because she's fun and, and we get along, you know, so well. And I think it would be great to, 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 you know, to show that part of my life that I haven't actually shown. I don't think I should go show you everything. I don't need to share everything. I don't think you really care, but had me share everything however i thought it'd be kind of cool if we uh you know sort of let you into that little bit of it and she if she's up for it that's fine uh so we might start planning some some things maybe it'll just be me like we like i started out with grand theft auto with bailey me just doing races and having conversations because the things that we talked about were hilarious and I, I could not let those pass you know pass us by so maybe i can figure out a way for that to work we'll see um that's all up to her so that could be coming if you're you know let me know in the comments if you're still watching if you're still paying attention, you haven't switched off, if you care, uh, let me know whether or not you think that's a good idea. Would you like to have uh, Megan in a video? You've had Bailey. Now we're talking about, a, you know, going from a 10-year-old to 36, 7-year-old, uh, you know, <laughs> 30, well, no. Yeah, 30, She's she'll be 30, yeah, she'll be 30, she's six years younger than I'm born, 19, 19 no, she'll, yeah, 1980, she'll be six years younger than me. Um, so... Yeah, if you're, if you're up for that, let us know. It might be cool. I, You know, hey, we have a lot of fun. We can talk about anything um, conversation-wise and still play a video game, I think. So it might be hilarious. I might get my ass kicked. Who knows? It could be fun for you to listen to. Who You never know. So that's all I got for tonight. This, we're going to wrap it up here uh, with the video. And let me know if you want to see me do this again like this or split this off and just have it as a separate rant video for topics. Let me know some topics in the comment section. I may or may not get to them right away because I want to try to get a little bit of a backfill of a, of a schedule, uh, you know, uh, of these things so I don't have to uh, fly, record on the fly. Although I'm going to have plenty of free time, apparently. So <laughs> so there you have it, the first inaugural uh, Seven Days to Die, the Drunken Disorderly podcast kind of uh, idea. Uh, thanks again for watching, and have a good night. Bye-bye.